Hola, Senor Wilson. Estoy aquí. I'm going to help you out with today's assignment. So this right here is the actual assignment. Let me show you what the completed product looks like, and then I'm going to show you the directions that I followed to get there. So these are my examples right here. I gave you two examples. You're going to give me eight examples, and don't use my examples. All right, so you can see I have a sentence written in Spanish. I've translated that sentence into English, and then I have a picture to go along with it. So SpongeBob is happy. SpongeBob is está alegre. We are sick. Nosotros estamos enfermos. Now, up here are the actual directions. Number one says, you're going to write eight complete Spanish sentences that start with a capital, end with a period, and you know I'll count off if that doesn't happen, describing health and emotions. Then you're going to translate your sentences to English, and you're going to number each sentence. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if you guys keep seeing all these emails I'm getting. All right. So, number two says, each sentence should contain a conjugated form of a star, to be. H-E-L-P-P. -P. I've given you all the forms right here, and they're also on your apuntes. They're on your notes. So I don't care what you start with. You can do a yo estoy, an I am, or tu estás, a you are, a nosotros estamos. You, I used SpongeBob, and he's not on the list, so he's singular. SpongeBob está, all right? So you got to have a form of estar. Question. How do I make an accent? Like, estás has an acento, está has an acento. So here's the directions. I'm going to show you as we go. How do you make an accent? If you need an A with an accent, what you do is you click on insert. So you go up here. I hope you can see this. You click on insert and you click on special characters. I'm not sure if you're seeing this. I hope you are. This you should be seeing. Then you type in the word Latin right here in the search bar, Latin. And it's going to give you all these over here. So I'm going to find the A, let's see, the A with the accent that's going the correct way is that one. When you click on it and you see it pop up right here, it shows you that it's on your paper. So look, there's my A with the acento. And then I can copy and paste and do whatever. So if you need accents, that's how you do it. You follow these directions right here. Or you can Google you with an accent and then copy it. Whatever's easy. You guys are better at this than me. All right. So let's use your notes if you need help. Don't use the same subject pronoun for each sentence. And you're thinking, what? What does that even mean? That means I don't want eight sentences and they all start with yo, 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 estoy, estoy, estoy. I want different things. You can use a yo estoy. You can use a nosotros estamos. You can use um, la clase esta, whatever. But I don't want them all eight to be the same. All right. Um, each sentence should also contain a different health or emotion word. Be sure to change the ending if needed. And right here, I have given you the health and emotion words that we know. Like BN, it doesn't change. Um, well, I was going to highlight that, but I'm not. BN doesn't change. Um, triste can become plural. You should look in your notes for this. If you're saying the girl is sick, that would be la chica está enferma. And you have to have these right because we've talked about them for two days. So if you have a question, refer back to your notes or refer back to the videos that were posted on the 28th and the 29th, uh, Monday and Tuesday. The last thing says you need to include a picture to represent each sentence that you type. And you're going to do this on a Google Doc. Don't do it on a slide. I want it on one Google Doc. OK, so here's mine going right here. All right. So I've got SpongeBob está alegre. I used my form of a star. I used an emotion. I started with a capital. I ended with a period. I translated it to English, started with a capital, ended with a period, and then I got a picture. Next, notice I didn't use SpongeBob over and over again. If you want to have a theme, that's fine. You could use like SpongeBob E. Patrick or SpongeBob E. Yo, because that would give you a change of subject. Or just don't be that creative if you don't want to. And you can be like me. Nosotros estamos enfermos. Notice I had to take enfermo and change it to enfermos because we are plural and it's describing us. And then in English, that's just we are sick. So how many should you have? You should have eight. Eight in total. Is that eight? Yes, it is. Eight in total. You should have ocho. Then you will take your doc, not a slide. You'll take your doc and you will submit it. And that is due today. If you have questions, holler at me. Adios.